Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com and I'm here today to show you guys three new things that showed up at my door. First we have the Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II, the Titanium Special Edition. So I believe Olympus uh, made 7,000 of these kits and on the camera is the new Voigtlander 10.5 f95 wide angle prime this goes along with the other Voigtlander uh, lenses the 17 the 25 and I believe it's the 42.5 uh, at all f95 lenses so this is going to give you a 21 millimeter equivalent in full frame terminology with an f95 light gathering ability um, so here is the Titanium Special Edition EM52. My opinion, it looks more classy. It looks kind of stunning, actually. And um, it feels great. Shooting video with this guy is amazing because of that new 5-axis that's actually quite a bit improved over the EM1 and old EM5. The 5-axis in this is unlike anything on the market, period. Nothing can touch it. Um, but here it is. You can see that the 10.5 is quite big on the camera and it's quite heavy. In comparison, I also have the brand new 8mm uh, Olympus 8mm Pro. This is the Fisheye, which is an f1.8 lens. Now, there's never been a Fisheye with an f1.8 aperture. They're usually f4, f3.5. I used to own the Panasonic. 8mm fisheye from Micro Four Thirds, and I have to say I loved that lens, but it was an f3.5 lens, and at the same time you would say, well, why would you need any faster in a fisheye? Well, believe me, speed always helps no matter what lens you have, whether it's for low light, and believe it or not, because this 8mm, you can focus within one inch of your subject, so you actually can get... Um, quite a bit of background, background blur at f1.8, some bokeh, um, that looks actually quite cool. So you can get up to somebody's eyeball, do a really close eyeball shot, and behind it you'll have that blur, or a flower, or anything, because it will get up to one inch from your subject. So I've always loved fisheye lenses, and I like these on a body like this, because you can slap it on, and you can do, um, I do a lot of, say, vlogging where I do videos, uh, not for this channel, but I can hold the camera out and shoot and talk and this will cover me. It will be silky smooth. You won't have any shakes. Uh, so the fisheye for me has a couple of uses. Um, I also like to get whole interiors, even if they're distorted, but you can also fix them later. But from what I've seen so far, I've only been shooting for this uh, for a day, with this for a day, is that it's not razor sharp wide open, but it's still plenty sharp. And the AF speed is not as fast as I thought it would be. The Panasonic fisheye has a little bit quicker AF. But overall, image quality wise, this, this is better than the Panasonic as far as image quality. You have a nice contrast color pop, a depth to the images that you don't get with that Panasonic. It's a little larger than the Panasonic and it's more expensive than the Panasonic. If you thought the Panasonic was expensive, at I think 550 or 600, this guy is going to set you back a grand. This is in the Olympus Pro line, comes with a nice hood, and uh, you can mount it to your camera and just snap away and have some really cool effects. But fish eyes are challenging to use because you do have to get close to your subject to make your photos interesting. So let's go back to the uh, EM52. I don't have the box with me here, but inside the box, the ship with a uh, leather wallet with your numbered, uh, the number you have of your camera out of 7,000, and it comes with a deluxe leather strap. That is not what's on here today, actually. I have another strap here that I really enjoy from Hardgraft. It's made in Italy, and I'll use this on Leicas uh, usually. Let's see if I can get this to focus. For some reason, it's not wanting to focus. There we go. So Hardgraft makes this strap. It's leather, and actually this faces out on your shoulder, and it's very stylish, and I thought it went well with the uh, Titanium Olympus set. So I've been using that. 
The strap it comes with is kind of grayish or titanium in color. It's really cool. Um, so there you go. I'm reviewing the Voigtlander 10 right now. Um, I've just been shooting with it for the last three days. I'm reviewing the Olympus 8mm Fisheye Pro at the same time. So look for both of those reviews coming up at Stifa Photo. I will not review the EM52 because it's still an EM52 that I already did a big huge review on. This is just showing you the special titanium limited edition color. Now it's not made out of titanium, keep that in mind. It's just a color titanium and as, as a matter of fact it almost reminds me of the old Leica M9 when they had the steel gray color. That's kind of what it looks like to me. But you can get an idea of this Voigtlander F95, 10.5 millimeter, um, and it retains that character. Uh, if you're familiar with the other Voigtlander F95s, it's retaining that same character, color, everything. And you can get some uh, crazy background blur effects with this as well, even though it's a super wide angle. Um, I'm shooting this with my Sony camcorder that I use on many occasions. I'm not using a mirrorless camera to film this. A lot of people ask me what I use to film. I'm using a Rode VideoMic X for the audio. But anyway, I wanted to give you a quick look at this. If you like this video and found it informative, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more because if you subscribe to this channel on YouTube, I will do more and more videos and I'm actually going to be doing some cool things uh, over the next couple months. Some new cool videos, exclusive videos, uh, and making some changes. So subscribe to see more, thumbs it up if you like it, and always check back to stevehuffphoto.com for news, reviews, all things photographic, all the time, updated daily, except usually on Sundays I don't. Um, but check back to stevehuffphoto.com every day for something new. See you there.